I have it in my mouth like right here. I have it in That really weird. <laughs> Yeah, check it, uh I was thinking, should I do this for the gram? Oh no, turn it loud, pump this in your stereo Find my bones and you know the flow's cold Ducking down souls when you see us on low Packs of the sh, pass of the smoke, that's backwards Hey y'all, what's good, what's poppin', what's poppin', what's good? It's your girl, it's Tools, and we're back again with another video But before we get right into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe Cause what? Cause you're already so today you guys we are on our way to the um, oral surgery because your girl is about to get all four of her wisdom teeth removed and I'm gonna basically record the whole experience but I can't bring my phone into the um, surgery area so like y'all can't see all of that but y'all gonna see how my face looks and everything after the entire process so yeah have my mom with me driving <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're gonna see how this goes this is how my face looks right now loki a bit chubby but um it's about to be even more chubbier so yeah i hope you guys are excited as i am and um we'll see how this goes i'll try to record as much as possible so this should be good so yeah i see you guys when i get out it's <laughs> not my swelling it's just not my butt <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just my look right here. Leave it down. Yeah. I hope you feel anything. <laughs> I hope you feel anything like right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know? My hands are cold. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel good, boy. And they put everything in my mouth. And I still ever confused. Yes or no? I don't know how it happened. Uh -huh. I was I was gone. I woke up and they're like, I'm oh like, it's done, it's done. I was like, huh? <laughs> Hi, guys. That was the best of all. My mom got CBS. CBS. She got CBS finding on my medication because we prescribe some medications so I can get better, you know? So yeah, um, that's basically what's happening right now. I have it in my mouth, like, right here. I have it in the face. That's really weird. Even my lip. Uh, I thought my lip wasn't there anymore because I couldn't feel anything. It's so weird. There's no swelling. Swelling or not. I thought it was gonna be like, hmm. Yeah, I thought it was gonna look like a puffer, but no. So, it's basically what's happening right now. Um, I just expect to be successful. I thank God I made it out and I'm alive. Yay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking more I was going to be so and I was trying to do like a vlog, kind of in a way, of like, you know. I went on a post surgery, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, who knows? I'll try my best, but no guarantees. Thank you for all your love and support. Yeah. God bless. Yeah. Hey, y'all. So, um, so sorry. Can't really talk right now. My mouth, like, I can't feel anything, you guys, and it's just like, I felt uncomfortable. I have feeling the same. I can barely talk. And uh, I had to change my session because the um the gums that I had in there before was just getting so bloody. It was just unacceptable. So I had to change it again. But I'll probably take this out very soon because I'm getting tired to go to sleep. And I'm like super tired, so yeah, so let's check it on you guys. Um, yeah. I tried to get my medication, but CVS said it was going to take an hour, so I have to wait. Hip, 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 hip. Yeah. All right, guys. See ya. Hey, guys. So, um, this is me two, three naps later. Um, yeah. 
your girl was going through the pain low key. <laughs> Uh, I can actually feel my lips now, so I'm super grateful about that. Like when I tell you guys, I was literally in tears. <laughs> like I was I actually started I actually started crying because like I was in pain, but it wasn't like the pain from like the removal of the wisdom teeth. It was just that I was in pain because I couldn't feel my lips, and I was getting really upset. Like I was like, bro, like I have to feel my lips, and I couldn't feel my lips, so I was getting really really upset. So like as I was taking my pills, I started to cry. And like my mom was like, it's okay, just calm down, just calm down. I was like, I can't feel my lips. Like, is my lips not there anymore? I can't feel my lips. So yeah, I wanted to record it, but it was just like, there was just too much going on, so I couldn't record it. But just know, I literally did cry. So yeah, um, right now I'm gonna make a smoothie so like I can eat something because I'm low key hungry. So. I'm gonna make a quick smoothie and uh, yeah, I'll let you guys watch what I'm making, so yeah. Just a little disclaimer guys, all of the smoothies that you see are Sophieology smoothies and I'll make sure to link her video to the smoothies down below. Hey guys, um, this is day one of post-op, day two of the entire experience and um, this is how my face is looking. So most definitely our face has um, swollen up we are all swelled up i look like alvin and the chipmunks so like, <laughs> i could literally be a part of the whole crew right now this is basically how i'm looking um first day after the surgery and everything like that and um let me just give you guys some info about basically what happened yesterday after you like complete your surgery they um they will always like prescribe you three medications is it three or two um, it really depends, but uh, most of the people that I've seen, like that I've watched and everything, they usually were prescribed like three or two medications, so you're most likely going to get three or two medications. But I know for me, they prescribed ibuprofen, um, amoxicillin, and hydro hydrocodone acetamine, which is a narcotic. For the hydrocodone acetamine, I basically have to take that every six hours, and the ibuprofen and amoxicillin, I have to take those every eight hours. So the first time I took a medication, I took all three of those at the same time, no problem. Then um, six hours later, I had to take the hydrocodone acetamine by itself. And um, I had to wait another two hours until I can take the amoxicillin and the ibuprofen. So I took the hydrocodone acetamine, wasn't a problem. I was recording you know, the last scene that you probably just watched without a problem. It was no issue for a little bit. And then after a while, I started getting hot internally. And um, my stomach started like hurting really bad. I felt like I needed to throw up. Like I was getting really, really sick and it wasn't funny at all. Like it wasn't cute. Um, I, had to, like, I came up to the bathroom. I thought I needed to throw up, but I didn't need to throw up. And then afterwards, like I was still hot, like internally, like I felt like I was, I was hot from inside out and it was like really uncomfortable. Um, my stomach wasn't feeling well, not like it's just like I felt dizzy. Like it wasn't, it wasn't cute. So I literally took off this sweater. I literally fell asleep in the sweater. So like I took off this sweater and like I tried to go to sleep and I literally passed out. Like I went to sleep, like I was done for the night. I like went to sleep. And then um, my brothers and my mom came into my room. So that kind of like woke me up around like 10 ish and everything. Um, we decided like, I'm just not gonna take that anymore because it is a narcotic. It can get like that, especially for people who've never taken it before. And um, yeah, so that's why that's why recently I've decided that I'm not gonna take that anymore. I took that just twice yesterday, but I'm not taking it anymore. I'm just gonna stick to ibuprofen and amoxicillin. My body is used to that and those ones don't really cause um, internal heat <laughs> like that. So for today, it is, it's basically after 12. I've been on and off, waking on and off. Like I couldn't go to sleep straight last night. I woke up at like five in the morning and um, I couldn't go back to sleep like, it was just a hot mess, but um, that's why I went back to sleep now. And now I'm waking up at like 12 something, so it's cool. I have a lot of stuff to do today. I have some homework to catch up on. Um, I have to order some stuff for an event that I have to do on Friday. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day, but I'm probably gonna split it up between today and tomorrow because I don't wanna pack myself too much. Plus I'm gonna take the medication again at three o'clock and probably take a nap after that. But yesterday when I took my first pills, I um, took yogurt. And then after that, I had the um, 
I didn't really eat much because I was kind of more or less like more tired and everything. So yeah, yesterday I only took yoga. And then after that, later on in the night, when you guys saw me, I made the smoothie. And then earlier this morning, I had like applesauce to take my medication. Yeah, so I'm just gonna brush my teeth. Um, it's not really anything major. You're still gonna brush your teeth the same way you've been brushing your teeth. You just have to be more careful. Um, I know with my wisdom teeth, I got stitches on the bottom too, but the top two, they left the whole they left the whole thing open. So I have to be careful. I can't eat spicy foods. I can't eat, eat sticky foods. I can't eat candy or anything like you know that has seeds in it. That has seeds in it that would possibly get stuck up there. Like the bottom one is pretty okay. Like you know, but I literally can't eat anything that might get trapped in there, or else it'll just be a whole different problem. Hey you guys, day three, second day post off, and I'm feeling way better, you guys. I'm feeling really great. Um, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good. I woke up around like seven, eight, or whatever. Well, I woke up earlier than that. I woke up around like eight o'clock to take my medication and everything like that, um, which wasn't a problem. And like that kind of made me go to sleep longer and now uh, I'm waking up at like <laughs> 11 something but I stayed in my bed till 12 so yeah but I'm feeling really great I don't know if you guys can see it girl is pretty like a little bit happier now and I mean my face is still swollen a bit but you can't stop that from happening so yeah you just have to continue putting on the warm compress or whatever to kind of like um, reduce the swelling and everything but I'm feeling really good. I'm still taking my um, ibuprofen and um, amoxicillin, and those are working really well for me. I still can eat solid foods and everything like that, but I know around this time, if you want to, you can start eating solid foods, but I'm just gonna gear away from eating solid foods for right now, just for the fact that like I'm just trying to be careful and make sure nothing gets stuck up in there. So I'm not gonna be eating solid foods for right now. I might try to eat some mashed potatoes if we have mashed potatoes in the house. I'll try to eat some. But if not, I'll continue with my yogurt, smoothies, and applesauce because I like those and those are pretty fine by me. Like, no problem at all. So, yeah, um, everything's going really well today. Today, I have like kind of like the same schedule as yesterday. I'm doing some more homework and then today i'm going to be recording another video not really much going on today nothing really happening i'm just going to kind of keep you guys updated um within the last clip you guys probably saw the last few clips you guys probably saw that uh, i was using like a towel on my face so basically the first night that you the first day or whatever that you come back from the surgery they'll give you this ice pack or you have an ice pack on your by your at home that you can use and you can just put it on your face 20 minutes like each side of your face 20 minutes on 20 minutes off which is a good way to help with the swelling and pain and everything like that and then after that you can start using heat that's what i was told by you know the um surgeon and everything and the assistant they said that i can start using heat now so that's why i got a towel because i didn't really have any like warm compress so i got a towel i like boiled up some water like put it in and like squeezed out a lot of the water and kind of let it cool down because you don't want all of that heat on your face all at once so i kind of let it cool down just a little bit but it was still hot and i kind of just put it on my face and everything just to help with the swelling and everything like that and i'm going to try to do that again today probably maybe like more than once so it can help with the swelling so the swelling can reduce a little bit more so that's basically what i'm doing today i'm going to carry you guys along i'm going to show you guys everything that i'm doing so yeah Hey guys, so today is day four, third day post-op. 
Um, so yeah, I'm feeling really good. The swelling has gone down tremendously. Well, not tremendously, but it's gone down a lot. Um, it's not a lot of swelling as before, and I'm super grateful about that. I'm I'm pretty sure like the hot compresses, like you know, the hot ta water towels, the towel stuff that I'm doing is really working out. So whether you're using um, ice pack or you're using heat packs or you know, you're getting creative like I did and, you know, you decided to just heat up a towel and put it on your face. Either way, as long as you're doing that and putting some heat on your face and just doing something like that to reduce the swelling, the swelling will reduce and you will get better. Um, so, yeah, I'm super grateful about that. Um, yesterday, as you guys can see, I tried to eat some mashed potatoes and that was super cool to get something into my system, something different aside from like smoothies and applesauce and yogurt. It was super cool to just have some mashed potatoes for a change and I was super happy about that and for the fact that I could swallow it and take it in, it was super, super good. So yeah, I'm super happy about that. Um, around this time, a lot of people do try to take some solid foods and some other stuff and try to eat it. I think I'm still going to continue with the applesauce, yogurt, and stuff like that. But I can try to eat some solid foods, but nothing major. Like, I'm not going to eat anything that's going to require me to really grind. So, that's just it. Um, today, I just have some little stuff on my, you know, on, like, you know, my schedule to complete today. I'm going to go get my hair done. And um, I have an appointment, which is not relating to these at all. But I'm going to do that. Plus, I'm going to try to get some homework done. I haven't really been getting much homework done. I've kind of just been, like, lazy in that aspect just because I'm just kind of, like, really tired. And it's understandable, so I'm not going to stress myself too much. Hey guys, so today is day five, four days post-op, and um, I'm still feeling really good, still taking the same two medications. Nothing much is really going on. I'm kind of trying to try um, different foods and everything because I'm kind of getting sick and tired of the yogurt, applesauce, and all that extra stuff. I'm actually craving some more food, some other food. But, like, I still have to be very careful because of my stitches and because of, like, everything else. So, I'm not really trying heavy foods like that. So, I've just been trying, like, different types of mashed potatoes and other different types of stuff like that. But maybe today I might try some Alfredo. I'm not too sure about that. But we'll see what happens. Um, Nothing much is really going on. I'm still going to show you guys what I'm eating and what I'm doing. And, um... Yeah, the swelling has gone down a little bit more. I'll make sure you continue with the heat compresses. I know like I am, I've continued with the heat compresses and it's been helping with the swelling a lot. Super grateful about that. Um, I noticed that I still have some tenderness and pain in like uh, my lower joints and like my face and like lower areas and stuff like that. So those still hurt. So I'm still going to be using um, like, you know, my medication until it heals up and stops hurting and everything like that. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. Um, I even noticed, I forgot to mention with you guys. So I guess, I guess it's because of like whatever they use to hold my mouth open. But I was going through like some peeling, I had like some lip peeling and stuff like that that I was like going through but it's completely gone now I feel like it's all been peeled off and my lip is there <laughs> it's all good so that's just basically what I was going through I'll kind of give you guys updated if there's any new things happening but currently it is like uh, 9 40 something in the morning and I'm up and awake I took my medication at 8 a.m. this morning and um, yeah so I'm just having some pain right here in my lower jaw area but we're still good, so, yeah. Hey guys, I'm here again, and today it is Monday, so it's officially been a whole entire week since my surgery. Yay! And as you guys can see, I am feeling and looking way better. I'm, yeah, like everything is going pretty well. Um, certain pains that I had in certain areas, like my lower jaw and everything, are basically gone just minimal pain everything is going pretty well i know i was having some pain on my teeth like my actual teeth that's actually there so i was scared maybe there might be an infection or everything but no there isn't an infection i know like i called and they basically just said like 
you're like my mouth is basically still healing and everything so basically i'm still gonna get certain pains in certain area which is perfectly normal and it's perfectly fine i don't have an infection i don't have dry socket and i know like a lot of people when they get their wisdom teeth removed dry socket is one of those things that a lot of people well not a lot of people but it's a you know it's something that you could possibly get if you're not careful and if there's like an infection or the blood caught did not properly really form and everything or you know got dislodged or whatever but i am perfectly fine i'm doing well um i only have minimal pain and it's not even that much pain at all my medication that i was prescribed the ones that I was using, which was ibuprofen and amoxicillin, are basically done. I basically finished them already because they filled up the amount that would last me like a week. And now I am doing better. I'm doing fine. I'm just using Telenon for the pain. And I'm doing, like, I, everything is going pretty well. And yeah, I'm super grateful about that. I still have some swelling, but it's not that much. So I'm still using, like, my heat compressors and still taking the, like, Tylenol, some medication. And um, I'm still doing the warm salt water rinses. I'm... Yeah, I'm still eating softer foods because I still have to be careful. So that's basically this all going on with me. It's officially been a week and um, recovery is still going to take a while. So I'm probably not going to be able to eat solid foods for a while, but I'm feeling better. I'm trying different foods and I'm able to actually put in, you know, put in different foods into my mouth. So I'm grateful about that. And yeah, um, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment them down below and I'll make sure to answer it. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole entire wisdom teeth removal, recovery and everything. This whole entire process with me. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys the next time I upload another video. Bye.